Now I'm laying some greeny browns into the darks in the foreground. This is establishing the base for the, uh, the riverbed. As I move up the river I'm going to add more blue to start with and it's going to get slightly lighter and more blue grey as it reflects more of the bluff and the sky. So what's happening is that as the river is moving towards us our eyes are looking down through the surface of the water and seeing the riverbed as it comes closer to us. Now this concept isn't quite as obvious in the photograph as it could be because the water is so turbulent. So a lot of people who haven't painted on site or haven't painted this sort of subject before, a lot of those students had trouble with this and they painted the river entirely blue, which gives the effect of uh, a big paint spill in, in the river rather than actually uh, a liquid reflective surface. Now with the slightly lighter, cooler grey upriver there, it's starting to look like a reflective surface. Now closer to us, these very slight reflections of the sky are actually very a dark grey and come very close to the colour of the riverbed. Um, so it's some very subtle variations in warm, cool and value. And that's one of the things that makes water tr so tricky to paint is just the subtlety of uh, the, the differences in the values and the colors. And that's why artists for centuries have been drawn to paint it. Now I'm just putting in some of those dark blue shadows that are cast onto the water by the bank. It's always a big temptation to want to fiddle with that brush stroke after you've put it down. Uh, so one of the big challenges for me is to just put that brush stroke down and leave it. So what that requires is some thought about how you're going to make that one brush stroke say what five or six brush strokes might do otherwise. Here again I'm just adding some cool and just use your palette knife with some thicker paint to add some textural interest to those areas. So there's my finished painting hanging on the wall. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint that and uh, have picked up some tips that'll help you with your painting. So good luck with that and happy painting.